Hello there. Here is everything new in version 7.3 of Mattermost for Playbooks. Up until now, Playbooks, the product, uses a single full screen list for navigation. So that means as you switch between list and detail view, uh, you would take over the entire page, you have to go back to the list to change to something else. This made it very difficult to switch around. You know, we want to uh, see different things that are happening right now. Secondly, the run detail page has been quite sparse because we've built uh, with intention to interact with uh, runs in the right hand sidebar of channels. As a result, the full screen view doesn't make great use of the real estate. However, this also isn't helpful for when you want to focus on the run itself. So for example, we've seen releases where you care more about the progress and who's doing what, and not as much uh, a, a conversation happening in the related channel. So those are the issues that we wanted to address with version 7.3. And here is what it looks like after. I'm gonna keep the screen, uh, on, screenshot on and kind of highlight different sections as we go. So what we're looking at right now is in fact the playbook product, not channels. It looks so familiar because we're adopting the same left-hand sidebar navigation so that it's consistent with boards and channels. So for example, here you can see the list of runs uh, that are currently in progress and I'm participating in, as well as the list of playbooks that I'm a member of. Also, everything's now organized by team rather than showing everything across server. This is again to be consistent with channels and boards and just help you uh, make sense of the context you're currently in. You can also now favorite playbooks and runs. So these are things that you may have immediate, you know, action items, or just want to, you know, jump into very quickly without having to find them in the list again. So it behaves the same way again as channels and boards. We also made everything about the run accessible from one place. So up until now, it's only accessible in the right hand sidebar when you're viewing a channel. However, with such limited real estate, we uh, couldn't lay out everything, especially when you want to focus on the run itself. So now the center panel displays the run summary, the checklist, status updates that you can both view and edit right in place. And on the right hand side, uh, we list related resources such as what playbook this one's from, who's current owner, participants, uh, who is following actually to receive updates, uh, as it not be notified of updates, as well as a one click link to the channel that this is uh, this run is linked to. We also wanted to make key much much more uh, front and center because they're such an important part of retrospective. So now, when you look at a run, for example, for incidents, your mean time to acknowledge, mean time to resolve, uh, things that are kind of expected to be filled in as part of retrospective are now immediately obvious in the right-hand sidebar to any stakeholder that may be looking at this. Similarly, you want to gauge how active uh, a, a process currently is. For example, is this something that's set stale for the last two months without any uh, activities, or is there a ton of people looking and contributing to this right now? So we added a built-in feed, uh, also available at a glance, for you to see the most recent activities, and you can always click view all to see the full timeline, kind of trace back you know, who did what at what time. And lastly, the thing I want to highlight is we added a feature for request update. So prior to this, um, the only way for you to get updates is if you actually join the channel, become a member, and then post a message there you know, for all the participants to see. However, first, that pollutes the channel with people that are not actually participating. And then secondly, it may uh, give access to sensitive information that may not be appropriate for all observers to, to see, especially this, the discussions in the channel. So often we see teams wanna keep the channel private or restricted to the people that are actively contributing and participating. However, now stakeholders can click request update. Uh, if for example, in this case, it's, uh, update was overdue three days ago, and then a message would be sent in that link channel for participants to see uh, and be prompted to post the SAS update. 
So that is everything new with Playbooks in version 7.3 of Mattermost. We hope you give it a try and tell us what you think and how we can improve. Thank you.